Nice space. This is really nice. This is like full blown office. Well, just for us? Yeah! Whole <laughs> <laughs> oh, shuttle just for us, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at this for a vibe. Spacious. Ali? This Thailand video series is sponsored by Wandergo, an app for travelers and digital nomads. Sharing the best destinations, useful tips, average living costs, co working spaces, and more. Check it out. Welcome back to Thailand. Welcome back to our last day in Bangkok. Yeah, so we've um, we've filmed quite a few videos from here now. Hopefully, you guys have seen those. But it's time for a bit of a change. And the, one of the one of the main reasons we came here to Thailand again was to see the Thai islands. So we are flying today from Bangkok down to Krabi, um, and we're staying in Ao Nang. Yeah, so we've heard really mixed things. It's going to be really interesting to see what it's like once we're down there because we know that Rayleigh Bay or Rayleigh Beach. Is really, really beautiful. Nice, yeah. There's a couple of other things that we've been recommended around there, but some people report that they love it, and others are like, "Oh, it's just really yeah, shit. Name, Don't go." Ooh, yeah, trashy or like too much nightlife and stuff. But we're staying a little bit out of town, so. Well, also, so we've got a nice Airbnb, which if you haven't picked up by now, we use Airbnbs. We get a good base that we can work from, that we have good internet as well, and then we do missions from there, which is the days that we film. So. Yeah. Hopefully, as long as the Airbnb is good, then we should be right. Cross your fingers. But us. based on our success here in our Bangkok <laughs> spot, although it's come right, the internet has been fixed. Yeah. So uh, we're about to start with the workout anyway, and then we'll talk about some more stuff. <laughs> I say a workout, but it's sort of we just do 15 to 20 minutes walking on the treadmill, and then sometimes just a quick 10 to 15 minutes worth of a little bit of weights, just so that we can. I don't know, feel a little bit more refreshed in the morning, would you say? It's not really like a full-blown workout, is it? It's just so that we've got... An excuse to get out of bed and like, get moving. Get started. Yeah. But we've got a good spot here, so we always just take advantage of it when we've got it. So nice new treadmills, good view, nice pool and everything. And then we just uh, set up a little bit of a speaker, turn on the aircon, and so Stace works out on that one, and I just stay way over here, because we, we have to be separated. <laughs> We're going to Don Muang, which is quite a while away. Should take about an hour, but still only 430-ish. Oh, we got one now. <gasps> Honda Jazz. 430 baht is what it's going to cost us to get out there. We have come up with, we've done something this year that is going to has already changed the way that we travel and has made it so much more comfortable. So we invested in Priority Pass on the Black Friday sale. Now travel days feel like they're just like chill. Yeah. I'm like, oh well, we're gonna be early, which is cool. We can get some work done, get some food, food some coffee. coffee. Coffee's probably the biggest. Thing. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that we can have the comfort and get the work done, and get internet, and get fed, and have privacy and comfort and all that yeah. sort of stuff, game changer for sure. All right, let's go down though. away from me. I can't even see you. <laughs> Bangkok is so big. It's yeah. just city, it's city for days. The most enormous towers for the whole hour that we it drove just basically. End. It's like skyline forever. It really is. So we're in for a treat today. We so we get lounge access basically all over the world. And we just use the app and we can figure it out. Today apparently we get this is a good one because sorry we're really distracted aren't we? Apparently this is a good one because we get something landside as well. We're trying to figure out where it is. We're What's trying to figure out. I don't know. We're going to have to map it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so we get lounge access this side and then for two hours maximum, then we can go the other side and once we've actually checked in and then uh, and then get more that side as well. Nice space. This is really nice. This is like full blown office. Do you want to go here? Yeah, this looks real good. We probably won't bother showing you our work setup because that's kind of boring, but what is exciting is 
cookies and coffee. <laughs> I don't think that there'll be like a full buffet or anything because it's technically called a co-working space, but I don't know, we'll go check it out. It does actually, I stand corrected. Oh, There's man. like full on meals, so fried rice and chicken. It's like full blown eggs and bread and everything in there. This is what we made on our food tour. Oh, it was too. Oh yeah, there's the leaf that we did. We, yeah, so if you haven't seen our food tour yet, watch that. This is a crazy meal. That was incredibly productive and good uh, good use of two hours. So the trouble was we were checking out at 11 a.m. but our flight's not until, f is it four or five? Four, four, flight's at four. So we're gonna always end up with this dead zone where we didn't have anything to do. So the fact that we can spend that two hours there and now we're about to go through. Uh, so now we've checked in. We're flying with Knock Air, which is this crazy cute, what is the thing on the logo? I think it's like a bird. It looks like a little bird. It reminds me of like a little, um, little Asian things that you pull out the- uh, A fortune cookie. A fortune cookie, yeah. Hey, see, tell me that doesn't look like a fortune cookie. <laughs> Literally, it's, hopefully it's got good fortunes in there. So anyway, we're gonna go through and then hopefully we can find a lounge on the other side that we can get into as well. We've got two options now. We can go into this one, which looks quite busy, doesn't it? Oh, it looks nice in there though. Or, ah, oh, this one looks a bit better. <laughs> you go, we'll watch. <laughs> looks like much of the same food. Little snacks, little sushi looking rolls and stuff in there. There's that dish again, the, uh, the local one with all the mixture that you put into the beetle, uh, the beetle leaf. Breads, salads. These, uh, what have we got? Stir fried chicken, mixed vegetables, pumpkin soup. Chinese noodles. This is always the jackpot here. Leo and Chang, yes please, we're taking a couple of those. <laughs> Coffee, more water and juices, cereals, and some Thai desserts, because, because this is the same company, it's very, very similar actually, all the same sort of food this side, but it's a nice space, not too many people, fast Wi-Fi, and someone's got some stuff that she needs to get done. Maybe we should take her a beer, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Ooh, Leo or Chang? That's a big question we asked on Instagram recently. I can't remember what we like, I think it's Leo. Let's go for that, Let's see what she says. <laughs> yeah, it's 230, yeah, it's acceptable, yeah. Like budget airlines like Nokia, I'll always look at it like the fortune cookie airline yeah, now. Screwed now. <laughs> They're all pretty basic, like nothing exciting to report there. But we're just waiting for our bag, and then uh, we have to catch a taxi. We think our Airbnb host told us it should be 600. We looked for Grab, and it said 750. This is for like a half an hour drive. So to put that in perspective, we paid how much? 400 to go for an hour long ride in Bangkok. So I think things here are going to be a little bit more expensive. I think someone needs to start an ad campaign about respect when flying. <laughs> people are the worst. Why, why are you guys, why are people like this? When, on travel days, the flights, everybody just becomes so pushy and everyone needs to get in front, it has to be firm. Now we're all standing here, everyone's waiting in the exact same queues. One thing that Taiwan does really well, and I think I've heard that they do it in Japan as well, is they have lines on the floor and you have to stand behind that line. And then when your bag comes, everyone just walks forward, gets it, politely walks off. I wish I wish more people were like that when traveling. We always hold back. We're like, just trying to just let people do their thing. Just chill out, we're all gonna make it. Everyone's gonna get there. Okay, so we're 
so we figured out the taxi situation. Basically, we yeah, walked out the front door and people were yelling, taxi! So the sh there's shuttles and stuff like that, but we can't really be bothered messing with that, can we? Nah. It doesn't really take you, because they don't take you right to your place and then you have to get other transport. And... Way. We're always last. Every time we get into a shuttle, we're always the last We're people. last in every single queue. <laughs> like, we're just the most unlucky people when it comes to that I sort think it's because we don't, like, we're we just don't like, care. Meh. Well, we're not pushy like everybody else, yeah. so maybe that's why everyone's pushy. What are you playing for? Just for us? Yeah! Whole <laughs> <laughs> oh, shuttle, just for us, huh? What? Thank you, sir. Oh yes! <laughs> Look at this for a vibe! Spacious! Harley? <laughs> We've hit the jackpot here. Oh, that's not closed, mate. <laughs> We've, hit... yeah. We've hit the jackpot. We've managed to get a... Somehow, we've got a whole shuttle. All for ourselves. That's why we pay the big bucks. Yeah, we pay the big bucks. It's a... everything, everything's leather and like gold. Cool car, man! Very nice. to the Philippines with the big limestone cliffs and everything. So we're gonna have lots of videos that we will share from here once we actually go out and explore and everything. I think we're a little bit on the outskirts because we tend to sort of do that. Yeah, we do do that a lot, but we can rent a scooter and oh, yeah. go yeah. explore. So we will see you next time. We'll share what this place looks like because it seems like it's cool. So far, so good, but we always yeah. like to only recommend yeah, the like places sure. that we know are worthwhile staying yeah. in it. Anyway, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Catch some comments. Bye. Bye. Reminds me of like a little, um, like a cashew, no, not, not a cashew, what's a, the peanuts that you like broke open? No, what am I thinking of? Pistachio nut. Ah, not a pistachio. That, uh...